Listen, for those that are judging by things like appearance and, oh, his screen is dark, so he must be dark. I'm not concerned about that because I'm sleeping, but I just saw something on the internet, and I know it's not going to be pop popular, but I just saw from another self-proclaimed apostle or apostle, whatever they like to say these days, dear God, and no, I'm not making fun of the offices, but this is ridiculous and I need to call it out. But he's saying something like, I prophesy that no manipulation, no divination, no nothing will come against you in Jesus' name. I would need you guys to understand something. The devil knows how to pray warrior prayers too. Don't you know that? Counterfeit spirits, I have seen fallen angels walk in the flesh that literally out of their own mouth have said that they are God and that their name is holiness. I have literally had encounters with the great Illuminati, as they call themselves. They tempted me three times to join them, offered me everything. I told them to repent in Jesus' name. I'm going to tell you something. The devil and his monitoring spirits can look at people like us with oil and pray the same prayers and be operating in a spirit of divination. And the thing that I caught at the end of his prayer, because it's very similar to our warfare prayers, and I ain't playing games with no devils. I can see a devil from a mile away. God's given me discernment, okay? Check this out. With the same exact language, God's discernment will show you who's operating in the Holy Spirit and who just talking. Or who operating actually in an unclean spirit. We can discern the spirits, y'all. We see through you. We might not say anything, but y'all better repent and stop. If you ain't operating the Holy Ghost, I'll tell you what. This is what caught me at the end of his message. His so-called prophecy. His prophecy prayer. He said, I prophesy that nothing shall come, come against your miracle. I'm going to tell you something with that language right there. The devil's tricky. He wants to make it about you and your miracle and your house and your car and your breakthrough all the time. Guess what? I'm tired of it. Honestly, I'm disgusted. I'm so sick of it. It's not about you. You know what? Following Jesus, Jesus said... You know what? What man, before he builds a house, uh, uh, what man, before he builds a house, does not count the cost before he builds it? You know, a lot of us have been shown that we're going to be martyred and arrested. Don't you know that the Bible says that anyone that seeks to live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution from their own family, judgment, from the world? It's going to come. Persecution's going to come. These days, it's all from this apostle and this prophet. Man, first of all, everybody's an apostle and everybody's a prophet these days, huh? Second of all, we can see you, bro. We can discern the spirits. We see with spiritual eyes. God speaks to us directly, bro. We can tell when you're lying. You need to repent. But it's all about your miracle these days, isn't it? Your breakthrough. Guess what? The children of God in the background who can see these things, we're tired of it, bro. The way is narrow for a reason. Did you know the true children of God are willing to go through torture and death any day, any moment, if it meant even one soul getting to heaven and knowing Jesus Christ? Even just for the chance of a wicked person repenting and being saved by Jesus Christ, we would literally die and or go through torture in any manner of persecution because God's Spirit has transformed us. But we see you, false prophets and false apostles out here. And we, who are the real prophets and apostles out here, we are not broadcasting it unless it's for a testimony or to glorify Jesus Christ. And a lot of the times when it looks like pride, it's just boldness in the spirit. 
but you can't recognize it if you don't have the Holy Ghost. And as soon as we start talking about the music you listen to and the movies that you listen to and stuff like that and it brings conviction, you start calling us prideful and boasters and Pharisees when really we're trying to prepare you for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But you don't want to listen. You're comfortable in your lifestyles. And that day is going to come upon you like a thief in the night. And you're going to wish you had listened. And you're going to actually end up blaspheming and cursing God. Because he didn't save you the way that he thought you thought you would save you. To just poof you out in the rapture. Like you'd never have to go up through anything. You're going to be tested. He said he would keep you in the hour of temptation. Not from it. Even the translations that say that he would keep you from it doesn't mean that he's zooming you out. Most of us are going to be martyred, arrested, picking up our cross daily. It's about to get real in the earth. Is your heart prepared? These words are real and these words are love. And I got to give them. I'm going to post this video tonight. Not many people are going to see it because of the hour, so I'm going to post it again tomorrow. Stop getting so caught up in a million videos. Have a relationship with Jesus Christ, a real relationship. Keep your heart on Him always. Try to stay off the internet if you can. Please, get in your Bible. Or listen to it on your phone. In your headphones, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Talk to him daily. Worship him all the time. I got attacked so viciously tonight like I've never been attacked before. And my wife prayed me out of it. Praise God, she's a prayer warrior. And her mother. In Jesus' name, I've never been attacked so hard in my entire life. Enemy's not playing. If you ain't going through no struggles or no spiritual warfare, devil ain't worried about you. It's time to get on the right side. Bow your knee. Humble yourself. Admit that you might not know everything. Ask God for discernment and to teach you about spiritual warfare. Because it is about to pop off in the earth. This isn't fear. This is reality. Wake up, please, while you have time. God says, seek me while I may be found. If you're comfortable in watching violence and sex and everything else on the television, you are lukewarm. Your conscience is already becoming seared. As soon as you're entertained by the darkness, the darkness becomes one with you, with unclean spirits. You're comfortable in your lifestyles and it's time to repent. And really seek Jesus Christ with your whole heart and whole soul, mind, strength, and body. But most people will hear this and won't take heed to it. They'll say you're being prideful. They'll say you're a Pharisee. I didn't say that I didn't fall short. I do. But I will not tolerate darkness in any form at all. That's what following Jesus is, fighting daily and not tolerating any manner or form of darkness at all in Jesus' name. It's dark because all the lights are off. That's why the screen's dark tonight, but the message is powerful. And for all with ears to hear and eyes to see, Please hearken unto the message because Jesus Christ is on his way back. I love you all in Jesus' name.